Ha ah. <laughs> ha! I'm back. Tell the fish joke every five minutes. Okay. I mean, if we get a dollar donation for the fish joke every time, I'll take it. All right. There we go. We should be live and in Technicolor. Technique, grayscale, whatever. Hopefully that's better now. There you go. 1080p, 60. Let's go. That's proper. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good vibes. I hope you've got your coffee or your beverage of choice, hot or cold. Uh, you're well hydrated. Thank you for tuning in and being here with us. It's lovely to see a bunch of our regulars. Good morning, Delana. Good morning, Zatalia. Thank you for tuning in, folks. I appreciate it. All right, let's go. We're back in clan, folk. We're back at it. Uh, first of all, I want to say, actually, I got, I got my brain scrambled. Uh, thank you to everybody for all the great support. We're at $2,742.00. Wish I hadn't read that now. Uh, but uh, it's all in aid of Toys for Tots, the marine organization charitably helping uh, children and their families in underprivileged circumstances that simply can't afford to put a smile on a kid's face uh, with a little toy or something they desperately need, you know, a pair of sneakers, whatever, just to keep them going and give them that bit of good cheer at this time of the year as well. Um, so all the support is very much appreciated. I want to specifically thank, this is my last session today, uh, scheduled session, um, uh, uh, part three of the three-part mini-series of Clan Folk, uh, the Sheep Apocalypse, I guess we'll call it. Um, but I really want to thank all of the streamers that have given up their time, uh, all of the moderators who've been here, all the organizers, the people putting artwork and videos and stuff together. Um, it's an amazing effort to put something like this together and keep it going, keep it on rails, is uh, really quite an epic task because you're literally herding cats in a lot of cases. Uh, and I mean that in the nicest possible way and consider myself one of those cats. So um, good good vibes to everybody. Thank you for putting on the show. Thank you for being here, those that have come to hang out with us and have fun together. Um, and obviously a big warm uh, hearted thank you to everybody that's donated so far. Uh, let's go. So here we are playing some clan folk. Uh, part three. Uh, and the good news is it's day one of spring in year two. Now... It's still cold, 6 degrees, but it's not minus 30, so that's positive. Um, and food reserves are decent. We've got four days' worth of food. Uh, we currently have three family members, Lachlan, uh, Kristan, and Jurak. Baby, well, was baby Jurak, now juvenile Jurak. Um, and... Um, uh, we've got Helen, the worker who we can still afford to pay and I guess she's reasonably actually her mood is absolutely abysmal so she might be about to leave us anyway I don't know um, but the good news is as I said we've all survived the winter we're still pooping in poop holes outdoors we have, we've got the toilets I believe unlocked but we haven't had a chance to build anything yet but anyway none of that really matters because we've got fishing poles now uh, so we're good we should be good with food uh actually i need to put that up to 10. i need to get some raw fish every day hopefully we can get five i don't know what's a good number with that we'll repeat that queue i'm going to put that up to 10 and repeat that queue there we go and then cooking wise we're going to cook Actually, can we we can smoke the fish, right? Yeah, we're smoking 10 fish a day. Okay, perfect. And don't smoke, kids. Stay in school. Don't smoke fish. Don't smoke 10 a day. Juvenile Jurak sounds like a villain. Maybe he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's been a donation. But it's to T-Mod. So that's perfect. Was that $1.21? I'm really happy about that zero cents. No. Team, I'm T-Mod. 
I want the 69 cents at the end. In fact, for me, it goes beyond Team Even and Team Odd. It's just the 69 cents. It really bugs me that there was no 69 cents on the end. Sheep Sheepocalypse now, the shepherd's cut. Yeah, or the director's shear. It's horrible, horrible Ivan joke. Okay. Are you ready for joke? Okay, I got joke for you. This one, very fresh off the... Fresh off the fishing uh, uh, hook. Right, I caught this joke this morning, especially for you. Why are fish so easy to weigh? Eh? Why are they so easy to weigh? Because they come with on scales. <laughs> they come with on scales. It's obvious. I don't know why you even need me to tell you this joke. This is not so much joke. This is like cultural lore from Berovia. They come with on scales. This is why we know we always have heaviest fish. Okay, there you go. There's your pun. Thank you, Damien, for that surprise incentive. I'm sure that's going to be like delight for everybody as the day progresses. Here we go. Let's get some lined up here because I've got a feeling this could be quite popular. Man, everybody hates ad blockers right now. Evil. Okay, hopefully let me block that so that's not going to play anything. Okay, good. Here we go. Well played, Damien. Well played. So uh, let's just slow play for a minute. <clears throat> now, we do have some new incentives for today, um, game related apart from the joke one. Uh, for $2, you can rename a pet of your choice, in terms of service apply. For $5, you can move a person's bed into the barn, right? So this is our lovely house here, and this is the barn, right? So we'll, we'll shuffle things around to make that possible. Uh, for $10, I'll sell a sheep at the next possible... I was going to say slaughter sheep, but we'll just run out of sheep well i mean we'd get donations but you know anyway um for 30 dollars we'll sell damien the lazy cat look at him there look at damien just look at him he's just like whatever man oh there's rats to catch ah i'll get around to it when i feel like it right for 60 dollars i'll set fire to the barn that could end things in a hurry. And for a hundred dollars, I'll just set fire to the house. So there you go. Hey Jade, thank you very much for the refreshments. All right. So remember folks, you have to uh, donate through Tiltify if you're able to do so, if you're, if you're safe. Uh, he says, thinking he won't do it by an accident beforehand. Cheer up. What are you talking about? Cowboy, do you like your new sign? Do you like your new sign? Hashtag no spoilers. But will you set fire to them anyway, says Delano. Wait, what? Why does everybody think... Why does everybody think I'm going to set fire to the place? I've got through the whole first year, the most difficult one. Let me remind you of your vintage story house. Look, stats blog is not here in this game. So that's not going to happen. I need to make a tailoring bench. No, that requires a roof. So that's not going to happen. Okay, let's see where we're at. We've got, did we ever put a window? We did put a window there. So we've got a bit of light. Look at that. Let there be light. So we've got our fishing stuff going on. That is a high priority and a lot of fishing. So that, I don't know if that's a good idea with that five, but we'll see. Have they caught all five? Is that going one block like that? No. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. This might make them super busy. Okay. <laughs> might not be the best idea. Oh, the double beds up. Oh. Okay, so let's, let me try and remember where we were at. 
Um, they want us to make a tailoring bench. I'm not too worried about that yet, but it does unlock more stuff. Oh, it would allow us to start working with our wool. Hmm. You know what? That makes me change my mind. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig out the working area, the cave. That's what we're going to do. Let's make mine. Mine, 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 mine. Let's get some more space going on in here. That's what we'll do. Food, we're okay for food. So that's good. What sign? Oh, well, if you don't know, you don't know. Talking about your day one house you tried to cook inside of and it burned down. That is a distant memory. Happily forgotten. Buried and lost to the passing of time. So what you're talking about. All these blooming seeds just left lying around. Why aren't they in the... Oh, because that's full. Okay. Don't I have a seed bin? I thought I had a seed bin. Maybe I never got a seed bin in this. Don't really haven't confused myself by streaming this yesterday on a different playthrough as part of my test stream. Totally haven't confused myself. Oh, we got the charcoal bin and the ash bin up in place, though. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, traders can still arrive. Okay. So now... The sort of the the heavy fears of subsiding a little. Oh, they're so unhappy. So now the job is we've got to make people happy. They can't. You can't be happy living like that, can you? I mean, it's better than dying in the winter, but it's not much of. It's a subsistence, isn't it? Remember the stone roof cave can only have an overhang of two, so don't have a cave in. Yeah, it's a good point. I was gonna build a. Can I have a? A wall. I was going to put a pillar up, but I was going to see if the roof collapsed first. Which is maybe not the best way around of doing it. Let's have a... Let's put a peat wall here. Like that. Because so far, this is this has worked. I'd like to keep this as a cave if I could. Digging into the mountain. This is like playing Return to Moria all in one. I thought houses only burnt down in Icarus. We, we don't talk about Icarus. Just... The first house doesn't count. It's a practice house. There you go. Italian knows. Not sure where there's a capper on the end of that. That's just law. That's just that's just game law. Good morning, Bluton, and welcome aboard. How is Return to Moria? Uh, it's beautiful. It's sitting beautifully on my wish list. I don't have that one yet. I do want to play it. I've seen a lot of my friends playing it without inviting me. Yeah, my overall impression of Moria from a, a brief look at some of the streams, not watched too much, but I like that they procedurally generate the three locations or whatever, so you can have a different adventure uh, or, you know, uh, some variety in there. I The combat looks very, like, simple and easy, which will help me because I'm rubbish at video games, um, but, but uh, possibly doesn't lead to much challenge. I don't know. Didn't look that challenging, the combat. So the, I'm not sure about the threat level um and the building stuff in certain areas and whatever um look like it could be quite cool i like building stuff generally but i don't know i haven't I haven't gone hands-on and i haven't watched a lot of it because um <clears throat> uh we probably need to move these over here um i haven't watched a lot of it because i don't want to spoil it for myself so it's a bit of a Okay. That bar steward grumpy, right? I love... It's so funny with grumpy. 
because he's like oh man i need new games to play what do you want to play what is this is this any good do you like that and he yeah and then he ends up playing world of warships anyway and then he's going oh i need something else to play i was like well you've got loads of other games just play them right and then he's like oh i can't wait to play return to mario we can all multi multi you know player we can all co-op together and then he's like oh i'm just gonna play it don't care leave the dwarf behind he literally playing a game about dwarves are you guarantee you if i was playing that he would have pinged me and gone why are you playing that why didn't you invite me <laughs> guaranteed <laughs> i got in trouble recently with tiger because tiger was like oh, i really wanted to play that other game with you and and Gr i wasn't gonna play it and then grumpy was playing it and he was like come and play this so i was like okay we played something on a sunday i can't remember what game it was now and tiger was like why didn't you invite me to play and i was like well, you normally sleep on a sunday morning i don't know so he, so it's like it's all fine I'm obviously it was all in jest right but uh he got upset i got it in the neck i'm like i wasn't even gonna play it unbelievable streamer drama yeah here's a peek behind the curtain i tell you what though like seriously that's like as as upset as we ever get <laughs> that and don't tell each other how to play a game <laughs> those are like the boundaries When we played it, we were shocked you weren't playing it. No one invited me, man. No one invited me. No one asked me to come play. I was like, you know, everyone's getting this Moria thing. It's all about the dwarves. And nobody, nobody thinks to invite the dwarf to play. That's, that's <laughs> I can't believe I'm having a breakdown. No, not really. No, it's fine. I've got so many things to play. I was lucky. I can only play Ark because Twitch gave it to me. So that was very nice of them. Yeah, exactly. I I, I was still committed to Atlas. Immersive roleplay. He says, deliberately choosing his words. Can't believe you let your galleon sink, man. That's all I'm gonna say. You'd come here telling me about houses that burn down. You, at least I didn't let my galleon sink. <laughs> it's still there. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> it's Italia, have James go and sink the galleon quickly. Take the sunburn. Blow a hole in it. I've never lost a ship, yeah. Never. Never lost a ship in in five se four seasons. Not through my own doing, right? I've I've lost I've had a ship go down because of game uh bugs. Right? That's true. Will I be playing Ratopia? I'm sure Reckless wouldn't mind. I don't I, I saw Cringe was playing that yesterday, but I haven't had a look at it yet. I don't know anything about it. What's Ratopia all about? But no, because I've got my my next new one I've already got lined up. Um Yeah, I know exactly where the wrecks are at. Uh, the the next one is, and it's Cringe's fault, is um, I'm going to play Stranded Alien Dawn, um, which just had a massive update, a DLC and a free update. And the, uh, the free update added second level, second story building. Uh, for, for American folk in chat, that means the ground floor or ground you know floor zero the ground floor is the one on the ground right and then the floor above that is floor one because it's the first floor above the ground 
right? I'm doing this specifically, not calling Damien out or anything, but that's how the numbering system works. Zero or ground floor, and then one and upwards. Right? So, uh, yeah. You can now build a ground floor in Stranded Alien Dawn and floor one and possibly a second floor above that. But I'm not certain about that last bit, so we're going to wait until we play it to see. Hey, Keep, good morning. That's only a Damien thing. The rest of us understand that. Hey, chillin' Rexy. That's awesome. I love that you... I, I knew you would get it. I just knew it. It was clear to me. Uh... Yeah. Let's get rid of that for a minute. I'm going to see if I can have this roof not collapse. Also, I'm totally lost on what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm not paying any attention to this. So I've got to stop being silly with chat. Uh, forgive me, chat, for interacting with you. I should now return to normal viewing. Normal Twitch protocol. Ignoring chat and doing what I want to do in the game and getting it all wrong. And then blaming you lot for not telling me. Look like a diggy diggy hole kind of a game where you expand your burrow and fight other animals. Oh. So that means my office and gaming room is on the minus one floor? Yes. Exactly. So the basement, right? Cellar or basement is minus one. Yeah, and that's why, like, at my office buildings where I used to work and they'd have the big uh, data centers below ground, uh, you'd have minus one, minus two, and so forth. Yep. That's exactly, that's exactly how it works. It's uh, so simple. So simple. Don't know why Damien doesn't get it. I don't want to, I'm going to stop picking on Damien now. I've already picked on him with the incentive to uh, sell the cat. You wonder why I wasn't streaming? No reference on your site to the stream? I mean, the Good Vibes Discord has uh, a stream chat channel within which is posted that I'll be here. Uh, I also tweeted it out. But yeah, normally we put... Normally my mods, to be fair... Uh, put that I'm over here on the live channel. But yeah, I've been doing announcements and posting and stuff like that, so it should be out there, the information. But the thing is, keep you can never catch everybody. You can never get everybody. I'll change the title. It should actually be hosting, but hosting's all weird these days and doesn't work the way it used to. It could, it should be showing this channel as a recommended live channel, but unless somebody else that I is on my friends or whatever is live, they might be shown. Let me check that. Let's have a look here. Okay, that's my video. Okay, that's my previous streams. Oh, okay, it's because that grumpy guy is online. So it's saying, yeah, okay. There you go. All right, I'll change my stream title over there. Edit stream info. Live for charity on twitch.tv forward slash indie. See you there. Done. There you go. All right, there we go. My stream title says it now. That didn't take two seconds to fix. All right, uh, so what was I doing? I've got food coming in. That's good. Uh, did Helen go? Helen's still here. She's doing the mining work. Oh, we've managed to keep... Oh, there's this one piece here. Is this going to take the roof away? No, 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 no. Don't take the roof away. i got to go to bed. Going to try to sleep without any alarms. Finally, rest well, Rexy. Thank you very much for being here and all your work behind the scenes as well. 
we still got the roof yeah let's go oh because the pillar's there now as well beautiful so i think that means we can go ahead and mine this section out here now um and uh we need to build some new stuff so we're, what are we gonna do we're gonna put the kitchen in here or oh what we were gonna do was we were gonna move some things from up here like the mushroom rack i'm gonna move that and i'm gonna have that in here okay uh i'm gonna move we don't need the meat smoker in here so i'm gonna move the meat smoker and i'm gonna put that down here okay that's gonna clear out a bit of space oh the thresher was the big one that i wanted to move right we're gonna move the thresher and we're gonna put the thresher here actually we'll wait for it to dig out that wall hey dark luna dude congratulations on your uh, giveaway win there good stuff I forgot to mention that was running, but anyway. <laughs> Maybe it was in the chat and I missed it. I'll just put that there for now. Okay, so we're starting to refurbish here. Um... The grasses and everything haven't grown back yet. We can see everything's in the process of growing. So we don't have uh, any harvesting. So maybe this time of year, it's a good time of year to go and get some some more peat. Get some more peat bricks growing. So that's going to be handy. Food, I think we're all right. We've got that covered. We are going to need some more iron. Oh, the bog iron crusher was the thing we wanted to do. Crafting. Bog iron crusher. Wait, didn't I put the... No, I did. So this is waiting for, for branches. Branches. Okay. Let's go clear some trees. Like that. Go away, wolf. Leave Damien alone. I'm so, kind of surprised, but I'm guessing that might be deliberate. That the wolves aren't programmed to attack your uh, your cats. The dogs are there to scare them off. They're like big wolfhounds. That's their job. Wait, what's that? Is that a puppy? No, that's a tree. Okay, that's a good quote. Is that a puppy? No, it's a tree. We could plant some reeds as well. You're right. We did. We got a bunch here that we planted. I think they just didn't grow, right? Yeah, there's a bunch around this lake already. What I want to do is start planting some garden stuff, right? Um, okay. Uh, reeds for straw, I guess, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, rats everywhere. Are we going to go for the rat traps like we did yesterday? They seem to be very effective. All of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I got to do this clear stubble thing. I think so I can reuse this area. That seems to be a job. Oh, what happened here? Mossy Stone died? When did Mossy Stone die? Yeah. For some reason, there was a stop on Mossy Stone to have it not butchered. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ba, 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 ba. So branches, yeah, branches is our big problem at the moment. So we need to get some choppy chop 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 done. 
But of course I sent them off to go and get... Well, that's okay. They can start drying the bricks out. And he's getting the farming done. She's down... All three of them are down there. Ah. Did any of the fish get cooked? Raw fish. Oh, because it was going in the smoker. All right. Oh, that's not set on repeat every day? Oh, sugar. What a mistake at a maker. What a mistake at a maker. Rexy's having a sleep, look. Having a rest out there, well fed. It's like, it's art imitating life. Rexy's just gone off to go get some rest. That's brilliant. Ba 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 I've got enough peat bricks for this roof. I think. I've got no logs though. Hmm. I don't want to go for the double bed, see if we can have another baby this year before we're done. Oh, soon the logs will come back once they do that choppy chop, right? Okay. Good work. Jurak taking care of... Uh, that's what we'll call it, yeah. Jurak's taking care of Mossy Stone. Mossy Stone's going to be looked after really well. Best health care we've got to offer in the village. Ah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Get some branches have fallen off the trees over the winter. Go away, wolf. No. Back off. I've seen you. Ha, you've been scared away. Wait, does the clearing the stubble give some straw? No? Hmm. Okay, times two. We can risk it for the biscuit. Go away, wolves! Once we get the bog iron crusher done, we'll be good for uh, iron for a while. I love this. This is grand that we've got this uh, this whole cave working. So what we could do here is... I want to put this kind of roof up. Oh, there you go. We can now. And we need a door. Wooden door? That's too much. Straw door. Actually, straw curtain. Right? This gives privacy. Allows heat transfer between the rooms. Yeah, then we don't need a vent. I'll put that there and then I'm going to put a double sleeping mat up here like that and then we'll need a window some light during the daytime and then buildings walls demolish walls and we're going to demolish that wall okay i think that will do it hopefully 
it's not that strict on the order. <laughs> You don't have to sleep quite yet, Draco Lair, but do you need the sleep? Would you benefit from it? There you go. Getting that done. Cooking those eels. That smoke is running. That's great. Some more smoke fish coming in. We're down to two days of food, though, because I've been uh, getting a bit overexcited and getting some other work done. Okay. That's worked out well, though, chopping those trees and whatnot and getting those bricks dried early. I think moving the bricks down here to dry was a good move as well. Suggested by chat. Uh, oh, they're out of hay? Uh-oh. Animals are out of... Well, no, they're not out of food. They're fine. Hopefully it's year two, spring day two. So we're going to go into day... Th no, it's sunset. Yeah, we're going to go into day three. Don't know how long it's going to take for the... Uh, graphs to start growing back. Let's harvest some reeds. And then plant some more. To replenish that. Hey, good morning, Jurak. Well, well, well. If it isn't the land of we unfortunately survived winter, now I'm locked into eternal servitude. Yes, and you're enjoying it. Good morning, Viper. Good vibes. Thank you, Viper, for setting that pin post. There you go. There's your incentives for today's session. You've got uh, three and a half more hours with me to have a go with those incentives. We've already had a fantastic joke right off the get-go. Oh, no. I've just let all the heat out by breaking that <laughs> By breaking that, uh, breaking down that wall. <sighs> okay. Let's put a straw door in there. Let's make that urgent. Let's get old Papa Bear. Wait, who's the builder? Yeah, it's him, right? Yeah. Let's get old Papa Bear into overwork. What's he doing? Why is he going to gather that straw? Is that, do we need that straw for that straw door? Okay, we're putting Papa Bear to work. Come on. Get a nice warm fire out. That'll sort it out. If somebody wants to, uh, is, is able to donate uh, $100, then uh, I'm sure that can be arranged. I don't, I really don't want that to happen, but I do. But I don't. But I do. If you know what I mean. Like, game-wise, I genuinely do not want to burn down what we've achieved. Uh, obviously, it doesn't mean that I'll, you know, it means we'll set fire to the house. We then have to see how... There you go. Okay, got that done. Let's take him off of overwork, put him back to normal. There you go. There you go. He can go rest. I want to get this bog iron crusher done. So that should be a priority job. And obviously cooking some food up. But we're okay for food. We've got enough money, I think, to keep Helen for one more day. And maybe some salespeople are going to come in. We're okay on branches. Yeah, we've got 101 pieces of bog iron. So... That's a decent amount of iron we can get out of that. 
10 planks. Okay, so we've got the minimum on planks. We've got some plenty of logs, some twine, a little bit of clay. Jurax on the flute. Of early morning Jurak special, the haggis theme. A joke that has never been told before. To be honest, it hasn't been told by Ivan in Clanfolk before. So that's that's unique original content for you. Who gave me a flute? Well, yeah, look, Helen and Kristen, they're like, oh, bless him. He tried. <laughs> bless him. Look, and now mom's showing him how to do it. This is how you do it, Jorak. And he's like, oh, I see. Jorak serenading Helen. Oh, my God. We could give them a room. But he's, he's, no, I don't think that's the thing yet. He's got to bide his time. He's only just out of nappies. Oh, it would have been cool if he'd gone back and played again. I like that they're socializing. Oh, that's cool. You see that they've got an, a locked bed. So you see the items associated with them next to the person. That's cool. All right, times two. Off we go. Jurax working the fishing. Getting on the fishing angle. Nice. Get angling. There we go. We got bug iron. Perfect. Okay, we're good on tools. Wait, if I make another... I've never tried this before. Should we do another flute and see if we get a little concert going? Uh, oh, look at this guy selling loads of berries. And branches. Oh, I don't have an axe to sell? Why don't I have an axe to grind? Oh, that's the wrong tool bench. Where's the smithy? Oh. 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 Okay. Because we were lacking in... We were lacking in that. Shiny, therefore valuable. I'm going to make some gold ingots just because. What I will buy from you, though, is some berries. I want to plant more berry bushes, but I don't want to get in the way of where I'm going to expand the house. We could build something over here called the West Wing. Uh, who's this? What? Oh no, we're not back in that sketch again, are we? Ooh, selling chicken, selling a rooster. A healthy rooster. We could finally bring in chicken mods. There wasn't any donation of 30, so we can't sell Damien for 150 coins. It's a pity. And never mind, eh? Uh, they've got a dog for sale, but it's quite an old... Quite an old dog. 139. I'm not going to sell all that bark. I don't... Uh, no, I need that for cooking stuff. I could sell. Oh, we got 69 coin. Yes. 
That one can go in the wall of memes. Nice. Drax going around saying, I'm Batman. <laughs> you are being all mysterious, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's a young adult rooster. Okay, it is tempting, but... We don't have any hens either, so at this point, let's get our first gold bars done. Shiny! Okay, we got that planting done up there. That's nice. I'd like this roof done so that we can bring in the bedroom. Uh, straw. So they still need to harvest this straw. Okay. Let's have a look at our skills. Okay. So she should be good. She should be on the harvesting and Lachlan. Okay. Yeah, we're doing all right. Doing all right. Four days worth of food. I'm Catman. <laughs> How are the mod chickens doing? We actually don't have any mod chickens yet. That's the other reason why I'm tempted to get the rooster, but I can't afford it now anyway. It will, I could have afforded it, but then I'd have lost Helen. And I think the choice between Helen and the rooster... Um... Ah, oh, we never made it to the bathtub, right? That was something we didn't have enough space for the bathtub. Ba 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 ba. Oh, here we go. Getting some bog iron done. Good work, Lachlan. We must have our first shiny bars. Where's our first shiny bars? I can't see them anywhere. Wow, we really have like a big storage issue. <laughs> Everything's just strewn everywhere. There you go. Where's it going now? Go away, wolves. Get out of here. Look, there's a dog there. Can't the dog... Oh, it did. Did you see that? The dog scared the wolf off. So having that visitor guy there selling his dog, I'm just convenient. I'm like, I might buy it later. I might do. But I'm just conveniently using... That dog to scare off these wolves. Wait. Do I have a chicken? No, he's for sale. Okay. I was going to say. Oh, no. Oh, no. Team Even was just taken out by a wolf. Oh, no. Oh, no. Avarok. Taken down by a by a wolf. Oh no, David Klein's been taken out. These wolves are running amok. Oh, oh no. Jurak. Hunt the wolves. Hunt the wolves. No. No. Here comes who are you? You're you're you. That's you, you are. Uh, Twaddle. 
Uh, where's the the go inside? And Rexy, I need to go 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 inside. Oh no, we just lost a whole bunch of peeps. Uh, Jurak. Um. Hunt the wolf. Go. We've got to start getting rid of these wolves, man. This is a nightmare. Where's Jurak? Okay. Stop fishing. Go and kill that wolf. Oh, no. That's a nightmare. Oh, those wolves have been fairly patient. And then all of a sudden. That's not good. What are you doing? Oh, that's Jurak hunting. Okay, get him. Get him, Jurak. Get him. Avenge us. Oh, we hit it. Get him. Oh no, hunt this one. Why is he targeting the other one now? Come on, Jurak. Oh, it's Kristen now. It's not Jurak. Get him. Two strikes. Three strikes. Oh, he's bleeding out. Oh my goodness. I didn't think we'd get an all action episode here. Revenge against the wolves. Come on. This one's badly injured. Come on. I think. No, it's the other one that I had to. Oh, they both got. Oh, he missed. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Jurak should be doing this. Oh, Jurak can't get the bow. Oh. Holy cow. They are literally hovering around our village trying to take out all of our sheepses. Oh, swing and a miss. I'm going to make another bowl. We're going to wolf pack those wolves. How many sheeps have we got left? Just... Wait. What happened to Rexy? Oh, no. No, that's Avarok. Avarok. Where's... Where's Rexy? What happened to Rexy? There's Team Even. I mean, who cares about Team Even? <laughs> I about that. Oh, I can sell a gold ingot. Yes. And another one. Oh, that's beautiful. Wait, I've got three? Oh, let's go. Okay. I'm going to buy that dog. Okay, I bought the dog. Okay. All right, we, we can recover from this. <sighs> Devastating. We've got a dog now. Here goes the dog on the hunt. Dog ult. Chasing the owner's target. Let's go. Doggo. Let's go. We've never had this before. Look, here he goes. Get him! Yes! <laughs> Get you some! Let's go! Alright. Uh, who's gonna be the dog? Delana, do you wanna be the dog? Okay. 
Hey Silver, how you doing? Let's go. We are down to one sheep left. That is, we've got a U. That's Twaddle. That's devastating. Oh. We don't even have enough sheep left to procreate. Meanwhile, Damien's just like, whatever, man. Whatever. That's what ha that's life. That's what happens. Let's get a baby basket. Because it just unlocks more stuff anyway. We now have a double bed. But no roof. Oh man, that was a that was a terrible sequence. We lost so many sheep all of a sudden. It's a good job I made that uh, that gold, to be honest. Oh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. I'm going to make some more gold. Oh my goodness. We're rich in gold, but poor in sheep now. That's, it's not good. That's not a good way around. I'd rather have it the other way around. Oh no, I'm so devastated by the loss of all those sheep. How are we going to recover? We're going to have to buy a ram. And then Twaddle's going to have to put in a shift. Dog all sleeping in the barn. That's probably a good thing. We got rid of our dog bed. Helen's flute playing scared off the wolf. And again. What do I do? Do I need, I need to put some like more light sources or something to scare them off? Get out of here. Stop trying to eat all my food. If only I still had the dog bed, right? I was like, what's that? It's a fur cloak. It's so dark. I'll put a dog bed in. Extra for the dog. At least there's plenty of raw meat. Not how I wanted things to go. Not at all how I wanted things to go. On the plus side, we don't have as much of a food issue now for grains and... Feeding the sheep. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. That's you, that is. That's your mum. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Got totally screwed over by that. Is Helen still with us? She is. Okay. I like that Helen's staying the course. Maybe we can get Helen and Jurak to... Uh... going to be a bit weird, though. Jurak's going to mature with his crush on the babysitter and then eventually marrying her. <laughs> this just doesn't... I don't know. Ha, there's a dead wolf. Take that, horrible wolfie. Not wolf cannon, though. Now you want to watch the Merry White House experience again? <laughs> That's your mum. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Mmm. How we doing, folks? One hour in. I hope we're doing all groovy. There is a lot of raw meat around. That's a lot of animals that have been slaughtered there. Let's get some more meat smoked.
terrible sunrise day four of spring and i'm not doing enough gardening i feel so i want to let's map out where we're going to put the farm So I'm going to do the farm like that. I'm going to have like a little hoof, like an inner area there. So this, I'll turn all that into like tilled soil or summer. Oh, hello, Kenneth. Have you got any sheep for sale? Asking for some sheep friends. No, I'll buy some hay. I'll sell you some poop. Uh. I've got a lot of raw fish I could sell. I think we're at the point where we could sell some raw fish. I'll sell you some bricks. I'll sell you some raw fish. Okay. Uh, broad beans, but I, I don't get the seeds from that. I'll buy another hay. I think that was hay. Okay. That'll do. Really need someone to come and sell me some sheep. But the good news is we can carry on paying... Uh, carry on paying Helen. Oh, hello. Who's this? Beak? Hello, Beak. Uh, Heather is the one that turns into branches, so that's handy. Uh, I'll sell you one of my peat tools, because I've got another one. I'll buy some heather from you. Okay, that's a good deal. She can't afford the gold. Or, oh no, I don't have any. Okay. Okay, we'll keep you there for a little bit. Because if we make some gold here, we could sell you a gold bar before the day is done. We're well up on the money. We just need... Um, oh, let's break these down into twigs. So they're not going to be a waste in the rain. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to extend the house out this way a bit. Have a courtyard. And then... This will be like... Like that a bit, I think. I might even have that as like a, a gateway passage, passage kind of thing. Kind of a cool idea. I'm just mapping that out. For now. Oh, and there was the matter of the road over to the fields, right? Let's get that done. Yeah, we cancelled that last time. I think it would be good if we uh, if we got back on, on that roll business. The other roll we were thinking of doing was down to the bog iron. But I do like my paths, I tell you. I'm a sucker for paths. Wish I could do the Manor Lord style. Okay. Unlocked ironclad door. Oh, so we could maybe use those to make a uh, a gateway around things. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm kind of liking this idea. Oh, you know what? I should have. Ah, uh, we could we could put some cheap fencing up, right, to stop the wolves coming in. 
That's what we need to do. The animals are still going to have to go out and roam, though. But the fact that they are the wolves, the wolf pack was able to come and hang out at our doorstep, I think was pretty, uh, pretty rough. How old is Twaddle? Okay. They're a little bit. Getting on a little bit. Oh, we could plant a grass patch in here. Ah. Huh. That's what we do. We plant some grass. All over here. And then we put a fencing in. Okay. That's, I like that idea. Not that we've got the seats for it. Totally distracting them from other jobs. Ah. Oh. Hey, Shion. Good morning. How are you doing? How is Mouse getting on in the Navy? It always puts a smile on my face if I just pop into Firebane's channel for a bit for a look and see uh, see him turn to address his crew and Mouse is there. The double bed isn't getting wet. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. I think it's soaked through. Look at that. Okay, I think this whole grass project is seems like a really bad idea. It's totally distracting them from other things they should be doing. I think I've messed it up. I've made a right mess of it. <laughs> I've given them just so many jobs to do now. Oh, blooming it. We don't have twine and we don't have bowls either. Okay. Hang on a minute. Where's T Kiln? Oh, there it is. It's in the barn. Okay. Head is burning. Third day of retraining, and it's a lot to learn. Oh, there and all the Navy stuff to it. My head's running overdrive. Yeah. I hope that the real life retraining stuff does go really well for you though. Had to cut down Atlas a few hours, one or two days a week, yeah. Still very nervous about when to relax and when she needs to be focused, but she's getting there nice. Yeah, it's a good crew. Fire? No! Fire! Fire! Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. This bed might not be in the optimal position. Oh. Okay, I know it. There's a whole bunch of people that are going to be like, see, we told you we'd burn the place down. Ah. Uh. Oh no, fire. Get that bed moved. Get that bed moved. We got lucky there. We got super lucky there. Get that bed moved. Oh no. I was like, fire? What? And it begins. I'm not giving incentives away for free. Now they can see, though, that the incentives might be worth it. With that level of panic. Okay, this is maybe still a risk, but I don't think that's too bad. So hang on, I need these uh, blockers. Flammable blocker. 
Okay, can we not put flammable stuff near the fire, please? Hey. Oh, sugar. That, that, that nearly got busy in a hurry there. Jeez, Louise. That nearly got busy in a real hurry. Oh, they got most of this roof done now. That's excellent. Two more pieces to go. Oh. I love how this clan just manages to survive in spite of me. <laughs> We're at threat level grumbles for the clan. You put the bed between a fire and a fuel pile. At least the peat is definitely dry now. This is true. It's fine. Technically speaking, the minor workshop is not included in the incentives. That's true. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Well, uh, Brewski is played by Count Babula, right? So he's an awesome member of the community. Darcy is played by Usorian, and Usorian played the broker, who was one of Pete's uh, friends in season four. Uh, so that's nice. And I know, I think Pura plays O'Connor. Uh, poor is a, a, a staple in Firebane's uh, community. I'm not sure who's playing Oink. But you got some really good folks in that crew. I mean, it's a great crew anyway. Great captain. The ergo great crew. You've got Easy24, right? Playing Gruff. Mitachi is in that crew as well now. So Mitachi plays... Um, Brimstone. That's it. Okay, everybody's resting. Ooh, we got out of that. I'm glad. So now we could change this to be a curtain. I still want that roof to be finished, though. So 20 stones for a piece of fence. That's way better to use than branches. I do like this idea though. Maybe we don't need it so much now that we've got the the doggo. And I think it'll still help and it'll look cool, I think. I'm going to stop, stop the grass planting for now, just so they can get on with other tasks. And we'll pick that up again 
when we've maybe got enough. I was going to have this space for the tailoring bench. Is there enough space to get a tailoring bench in there? Tailoring bench. No. Okay, got to do a bit more diggy diggy. and still staying with us I, I it's unusual to get someone to stay for so long but she's staying with us even though she's well she's happy about having a private room but the fact that she gets to sleep in the uh, in the cave <laughs> and she's she's chuffed about that we've got more gold for sale That's actually proving to be more of a boon than I thought it would be. Uh, this I want to replace with a straw curtain now for heat. Okay, things are going quite well. Apart from that panic fire. What is this? Oh, a dead bunny. Got fish everywhere, got food for five days, that's good. I wondered, like, for their morale, like, Trying to upgrade the house a little bit or put some things around. We could make some more rush lights for the warmth. That adds 10 points to the indoors. I'm going to chuck that on there. We can get those done today. Ba 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 ba. Yeesh. Storage. add another meat rack there next to the smoker so that that stuff can go in there auto magically uh, and then we're gonna go clothing tailoring bench which needs a bit more space and we're gonna put that in here yeah okay. I've got to cook some tallow I don't know if we've got enough raw meat left now. We don't. Dag nabbit. Dag noogly nablid nits. Why do the seeds. Oh, they're not seeds, they're grains. Oh, snap. We need a grain pallet. That's what it is. We need a grain pallet. Can that just go outside? Put that there then. That needs a sack. Oh. Should be making sacks anyway. That's why all these grains are going to waste. Ah, la, la, la. Trying to balance all these things. I've got all these silly jobs to be done. Like building this 
outline of the new building. <laughs> Those aren't even, they're not even working on the bits of road that actually help us get to, uh, to what we need to do. Look at <laughs> Damien's just sleeping again. Classic. I see, uh, I'm surprised he's not down here. Look, here's Edward. Edward the Fox. I'm surprised they're not down here at Foxhole again. At least the wolves are no longer at the door. Poor Twaddle. Twaddle's prob possibly going to expire before we have the chance to... Uh, yeah, Twaddle's going to possibly expire before an opportunity to procreate and bring back... Oh, what if our last sheep dies? Does that count as we lost? No. Is that harsh? We are making a mint. So much wasted meat here. Look at all this meat that just... Oh, my God. It's terrible. Is any of that... Can I... No, it's all just rotten. <sighs> Too late. Good morning, Reckless. Welcome in. Oh, there you go. We can make everything here that we can do on the other, on the clothes thing, right? So that can just be bin now. We don't need that. I love that this game carries over like any of the orders you've got as well. Decorative hide as well. Let's try making one of those because that gives 25 points for indoors. I'm really a bit worried about their morale at this point. We can make a textile shelf for cloth, leather, and various threads. And we can now have a hide scraper. Scrape ashed hides to clean them for tanning. Okay. Huh. I think that's a bit much for us right now, though. Um... I think I do, do think we should work on some decorations to cheer them up a little bit. Uh, oh, toilets! Yay! Okay. Yeah, then the metal's going to become an issue again. Oh, I can't believe I messed up with that. With the, I wasted all that meat. I mean, I tried. I had extra meat going on at the smoker. We've got eight days worth of food right now as well. Holy cow. I, I definitely am reaching overload levels where I, there's too many things to do. There's too many things going on. <laughs> uh, food. Yeah, I've got no seeds. Okay. Okay. Okay, they're getting on with this road over here. This is going to help us because this is where we're going to come and get a lot of our grass and that for our, our one remaining sheep. <laughs> oh. Doggo's in here warming himself up by the forge. This bit worked well. This hasn't caused any fires and whatnot. What are you doing, doggo? You say meat and my berry porridge suddenly looks like minced meat. Thanks, Grumbles. You're welcome. Hey, Edward. We are just talking about Edward. We saw you down here. Playing foxhole somewhere. 
There you are, look. Down here. Zedward. Playing Foxhole. Bit lonely at the moment though. Damien's Damien's too busy. Damien's too busy licking himself. Oh, he's not in bed. What's Damien doing? <gasps> no, Damien's over here playing with another foxhole. You know why though? You know why? Look at this. Because there's a wild cat. There's a wild cat den. That's why Damien's over here. Huh? That's why Damien's over there. We know it. Doggo's up here, just chilling. Look at Doggo lying on the bed like that. <laughs> yeah. New new foxhole patch. It's a cabbage patch. We've planted it. Okay, I need to get this sack made so that I can have the grain bin, please. I really want that built. The grain pallet. We've got to stop being so wasteful with some of our resources. That's nice. They've dug that out. Definitely not enough of all the types of storage because our rock heap is something we didn't have for sure. Pile of rocks. Bark bin, I think. Something I didn't have yet. We'll put that over there. Bum 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 I don't think we no, we didn't build a masonry place. Let's try and get ourselves a little bit more organized, shall we? Cause look just junk just strewn everywhere. That needs to be uh sorted out. Actually, they just need to collect that bog iron. They don't need to do any more harvesting for it. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. I, d I think I definitely caused too many distractions with all those extra building orders. But once we get that road in place, as the grasses grow, that's gonna uh, do us well. We've got nine days worth of food since to the uh, since the sheep massacre. We can have a hide fl floor hide now. Oh wow! And a wall hide. Okay, excellent. Because we made the decorative thing. How do I build that then? That's an object. Oh, it'll be a decoration. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Adds 100 points to indoors. We'll just put one of those down. It says it needs one, but we just unlocked that, didn't we? What are you selling? You've got chickens? And a pig. A piglet. The rooster again. I don't need roosters. Oh, okay, first of all, buy some gold off of me. We're going to have a piglet. And we're going to get a rooster. Uh, I'm going to sell you some more gold. The gold's brilliant. Wow, the gold is easy mode. We're making a fortune off the gold. 
Okay, you got no more money. We could have another dog. We got a puppy. There's a puppy. Okay, let's get that. I'll buy some kale. Holy cow. I'll buy some eggs. All right. Wow. Thank you very much, uh, Bess. You can be on your way now. We've got a piglet. Okay, who wants to be the piglet? Oh, there you go. Lady L's just arrived. There you go. You're our little piglet. Uh, rooster. We'll have Viper there. There you go. We're on it. We're on it. And we've got a puppy. Who's going to be the puppy? Koifer. There you go. I was going to say Shion, but Shion has to be a cat. We haven't got another cat yet. Piglet! How much to sell the puppy? No. We can only sell Damien. Why do you want to sell the puppy? You want to sell Koifer? Oh my god, Damien throwing Koifer under the puppy bus already. No chewing the furniture, Koifer. Um, okay, should we get some toilets uh, in here? I think it's about time we had some toilets. They can't, they can't go on with these poop holes in the grass. This could be the toilet area. Okay. Buildings, walls. Uh, no. Peat bricks. Yeah, okay. There you go. They're going to have private toilets. Perfect. Look at this. We talk about an upgrade all of a sudden to go from poop holes in the grass that they've had for one and a quarter years to suddenly... Private toilets. Feel like that bit should be there, maybe. That used all the peat bricks already? What? What is going on with the peat bricks? I thought we had low I thought we had peat bricks for days. Ah. Oh. Okay. Come on. Let's go. I genuinely thought we had peat bricks for days. Oh no, we messed up all these other things now. Uh we're gonna need to do choppy choppy trees. Ah. Oh. It never ends. Clear trees. Okay. At least we got to rolled here. 
except for that one bit there for whatever reason. And we, and we got the road mostly down here as well. So that's not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. Jurax sleepy. Is Helen still with us? Helen finally gave up. Oh, that explains. Why is Viper suffering neglect? What? Oh, do you need a critter door? No. That'll let you in. Why is Viper saying he's got neglect? He can't have neglect. There's so many animal beds here. Maybe he does need the critter door. Kind of silly. Okay, we'll put that there. And that needs twigs, and I've run out of twigs. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Who would have thought my over ambitious toilet building? Oh no, there's the other thing you need for the toilet as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Not the milking bucket. Uh, the chamber pot or whatever. Where do I make the chamber pot? Here at the workbench. Wait. What? Where's the chamber pot? Hang on. Chamber pot. There we go. Oh, the kiln. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Ah, oh, jeez. And now that's going to lead to needing more. More clay. I still... Oh, the chicken's fine now. Okay. That... Uh, I don't know. I don't think the chicken needed the critter door. We got so many, so many requirements all of a sudden. In the Chamber of Secrets, that's why we couldn't find it. <sighs> all right, have fun with your retraining, Shion. Thanks for hanging out on your break. I chew on the flesh of my enemies, says Koifer, the puppy. No hens for company? Yeah, this is true. Does that warrant neglect? Maybe. More coffee needed. Feels good though to have a bunch of animals back in. It definitely shows the vipers having neglect. There's no other. No, it's just animal bed. I don't know. Must be this critter door that's the problem. Okay, get to chopping, please. Oh, they just leave the eggs out there. I bought them lovely eggs and kale. And they just leave it on the floor. They're like, whatever. Salesperson, Elspat. Onions. Oh, female dog. Very senior, though. Okay, firstly, we sell some more stuff to you. Now, oh, bricks, perfect. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'm not going to get that dog. That's an old dog. And we're not in the new tricks business. Or maybe we are. That would have maybe made more sense. I've got to sort this chicken neglect problem out.
I really didn't think that would be... Let's see if this does resolve it. It did. Wow, so the chicken depends on the critter door now. Okay, or maybe it always did and I just forgot. So I usually do build a critter door anyway. That's fascinating. Okay, that's kind of cool. Off you go. Thank you, Elspeth. Uh, the feed, I think, is going to be grains. So we've got the hay trough, we've got the grain trough there. So I think we're good. I need that moved to the grain trough, please. Get that moved out of the rain. I've got to stop wasting all these seeds and whatnot. One toilet has been built. Okay, we got the... Wait, now it says... The, the, of course the grains need to be... I knew that. That's weird. It didn't have the no, the warning label that it usually does. Let's get the grain trough into the, the workshop cave. Into the work dungeon. At least the seeds are going to be in there now. Uh, also, folks, uh, thank you again for tuning in. Um, uh, this event, this annual event, will be moving home from this channel here, uh, graciously hosted by Indy um, for all these years. Uh, it'll be moving to its own dedicated channel for the charity event, uh, 12 Days of Indy. So there's the info there. Don't forget, if you want to follow along uh, in future years, Follows are completely free, non-binding, etc. Um, go, go tickle that follow button if you want to carry on and if you want to help them build up that new channel um, or help us all build up that new channel, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, I think there'll be some reruns and highlights and whatnot on there. I'm sure there might be some other stuff to build it up over time as well. So um, that would be much appreciated. Keep an eye out for that. What a waste of this kale. Why do I even buy treats for these? I bought you fresh kale as a treat. Like, I am I was going to give you some of my chili chocolate um, that I'm going to have at break time. But now, you clearly don't appreciate it. Um, so, I won't be doing that anymore. I'll be, ha I'll be, I'll be having it myself. Thanks very much. That's what you get. That's what you get. Silly billies. Okay, so that's on 100% harvest. That's why we can't get that yet. What is this? Oh, oh, that's more kale. Oh, there's no way I'm harvesting more kale for them. No. I refuse. I'm annoyed with that grain pallet thing. I kind of knew that. Oh, 69 seeds left. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of botched that. The whole point with that grain pallet was to get the grains from being stored outside. Thanks, Reckless. Thank you, buddy. Ooh, chilly today. Chilly, chilly, chilly. I'm slowly starting to wake up. Not bad. It's pretty early for me, actually, an hour and a hour and three quarters in to be waking up already. I feel like there's another pending disaster 
I don't know, I can't shake this feeling. Day 38, okay. Literally one sheep has made it through this playthrough. And we had all those lambs and everything. The great wolf slaughter of year two has just so badly set us back. So, so badly. So, so badly. <sighs> Who would have thought the wolves desperately hungry coming out of winter and wolf packing all around my property? Wait. Oh, dead fox, but it's not Edward. Oh, I was worried there for a moment. Edward, you've got a stay of execution. It's not you. It's another fox friend. The year of the wolf. I totally agree with that, Reckless. 100%. I love it when it's cold. And that if I'm lucky enough to be able to warm myself up. Spare a thought for the people out there that aren't. Okay, salesperson. Kredak. Kredak. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, wait. No, that's Cell Viper. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was looking at the byline. I got excited there for a second. Uh, I'll definitely have that. We're good with food. Do we need a bull? We don't need a bull. Uh, we could. We could get a lady cat. We could get a... Okay. I'm going to buy a lady cat. Okay. I'm not buying them any food and stuff as treats, though, because they just... They just go ruin it. Where's the lady cat I just bought? There, okay. So, this is... Obviously, this is Shion. There you go. Oh, we're gonna need an extra cat bed. New... Two new baby sheep? What? It's a miracle! Twaddle has given us two new baby sheep. What? How? Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh my goodness. We got a boy and a girl lamb. Oh, fantastic. Uh, farming. No. Hunting cat bed. There we go. Look at that, we've got this rug now. That's nice. Environment, minus 10. Room, minus 245. <laughs> it's because there's just all sorts of chaos going on. Do you know what's been bugging me a long time as well, though? Is we didn't, I don't think we built a tool rack. And that's been kind of bugging me a bit. So we're going to build a tool rack. Hey, rock piles going in. Nice. Oh, now we're cooking on gas. Now we're getting some work done. Beautiful. Tasks are down below 100 again. It's been a free while. It is a bull. Boom, boom. I scared you. I'm sorry, Edward. It wasn't intentional. I genuinely thought you'd bit the dust. I genuinely thought you'd bit the dust. Look at that. We've got... We're getting our seeds tucked away now. Indoors. Perfect. Things are slowly starting to come together. The cooked... Oh, sugar. What was that? No. Okay. Okay, it's day eight of spring though. 
and we still don't have our blooming toilet sorted out. Here we go. At least the building's almost complete. Needs that window. Oh, it needs a roof. <laughs> Not much point to the toilet building if there's no roof. And if there's no chamber pots. Here we go. Chamber pots are being made. Let's go. Doorway, doorway. So at least they've got a closed in area now. We're no longer pooping out in the wilderness. We're no longer pooping out in the wilderness. Okay. On your way, sir. Thank you. We're making everyone around here rich. I don't know how they're surviving. And um, we've got chamber pots in the toilets. We're good to go. Okay, we've got w one window's done. The other one's on its way. Now we need a roof. And once that's got a roof on it, then the toilet... Oh, it'll still be really cold. It's going to need some sort of source of, of warmth in there. We could move... Oh, that's what we'll do. We'll move the charcoal kiln over there. <laughs> Which means we move the charcoal bin as well. And then we put a vent on that wall there. Perfect. Uh, buildings, other events. Doesn't need to be fireproof. It'll be fine. And then we're going to take the charcoal kiln. And we're going to put that in here like that and then the charcoal bin I'm going to move that and we're going to put this up against this wall like so yes yes it's all starting to come together and now Lachlan we're going to Put your bed there, and your bed there. Oh, you don't. You can't do that. Okay. So, how do I get the parents to share that bed then? Okay, he can have two. Oh, she has got it. Okay. So I right click to remove that one. And I right click to remove that one. So now he's got double bed. And she's got double bed. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now we're ready to start making babies. Which will actually screw us off again because the baby will need lots of looking after. But we got through one winter with one sheep. And now we've got... Oh, we need names for the new baby lambs. Have we got names for the new baby lambs? Who's here with us that I haven't named? Oh, we can have Zatalia back. Lambovar. <laughs> Mods are always chickens. I think that's just a rule. And we just need to <laughs> imagine if Viper suddenly pops out some baby chickens. I think that's going to that be the game breaker. Do you know what? We'll have Rexy back. And... Rexy doesn't need to know that it's her reincarnation. Look at that. We've got toilets and everything. And they just use this Durak on the toilet. Hello. You can get rid of the poop holes now. Go. That's gone. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
I'm so happy. This is going really well. It's going really well. Okay. Stumps are good. I don't want to get rid of all the stumps here because stumps are really good for mushroom growth. So that's why I'm keeping some of those. All right, we're coming up on coffee break. And I get a little snack. So that's nice. Little treat for me. Or maybe I'll have, I'll have some kale. Because at least I won't ignore it. Oh, no, I don't have to have the kale. Thank you, Viper. Yeah, thank you. I don't have to have the kale because I can have the chili chocolate because I was going to give it to the clan, but the clan, you know, they didn't eat their kale. So what's the point of giving them treats? They've just proven to me um, that treats are wasted on them. So, yeah, there you go. That's life. Wait. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the other fishing pier? And it's still up there. Okay. Well, we've we've really got the food under control. That's good. We might not be making progress in other areas as well as I'd like, but... Oh, they've got a kitten. Not buying a kitten, though. I will buy the logs. Um, Wood ash for okay. Neeps. Don't need those. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. I think we're good. Off you go. Not buying the kitten. We'll make our own. We'll make our own. Um, yeah, definitely the tool rack will help us. I mean, we already preemptively made a baby basket. <laughs> oh, I hit deer somewhere. Oh, there's foxes. Look. I'm not making it up. Hey, we just had a dono. You don't eat your greens, no dessert, yeah. Look, Damien and another fox out here hanging out together. What? Why is Damien always hanging out with the foxes? It's hilarious. Given this foxhole's like one of his favorite games. That's pretty damn hilarious. I gotta set something on fire again? Wait, what was the donation? I, I didn't see. Like, it goes too quickly for me. And we It needs like a, a backdrop behind it. Hang on. I gotta go on the Tiltify. Huh? I just clicked sign in. Why don't you change me? Why don't you take me to a sign in page? What? This is, that's weird. Okay. No, I'm not clicking on that. Ah, no, I pressed the wrong button again. See buttons, press buttons, yeah. Say goodbye to the barn? Really? Is that what happened? Did we really get that big of a donation? That's awesome. 
Dutch Eagle and Flyer came in with $50. Dutch Eagle and Flyer. Wow. Thank you, buddy. Much love. Uh... Oh, no. Are we doing this? Didn't you change the incentives? I'm not going to cheat them anyway. Okay. Thank you, Dutch Eagle. Oh, my God. <sighs> Coffee, then barn burning. I like that idea. Okay. Okay. Pause. I got to do this properly, right? I can't. It's got to be like full on. Ugh. Even if I did cause this by accident, I am not surprised that one of the causing grumbles to burn the barn. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to play some videos about why we're here and then we're going to set fire to our barn. You have to understand people. I'm sure you do. But all of this, this is a big straw. We This could be devastating. This could, uh, it depends how quickly my people come along and put the fire out, right? I have no idea how efficiently they're going to put the fire out. But I'm literally going to set fire to straw beds within a straw building with a straw roof that is attached to another straw building. This, this could be horrible. This could be truly horrible. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pause it there. We're going to save, save it. Uh, and I'm going to go and uh, get myself a uh, fresh cup of coffee. And while I do that, I got some videos for you. Uh, boop. Here we go. This is why we're here. I'll stay here for this one. It's not even a fireproof vent. City. Marines have delivered Christmas to children in need since 1947. Alrighty. And now the sponsor video. So Dutch, it was originally $50. So I'm just going to go with the $50. So um, we made some adjustments because Damien tweaked some of the incentives, but I, I want that one just to be 50. Okay. So here's the sponsor video. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to Chill and Rexy and Raytronic for putting the video stuff together as well. Here we go. I'll be back in a short while.
Bingo. There we go. Awesome stuff. Let's go. Hang on. I got to go back here and do this. Oop. Haha. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go, folks. I'll have my snack in a moment. We shall. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I've never done this before. So, this is the first time. Thank you again to Dutch Eagle and Flyer uh, for the very kind and much appreciated donation. All of the donations are kind and appreciated. Thank you, thank you. And uh, again, I appreciate everybody spending time here with us. I know it's not always safe and comfortable to to donate and there's always some other cause or or you know just surviving these days everything's starting to cost more and more so i really appreciate um you know especially at these difficult times when people are able to but uh, i also fully respect and treasure everyone being here regardless of whether they're able to you watch it'll take forever to start a fire now Hang on, start fire, exclamation, start fire, exclamation. Right, that's their top priority. That's their top priority. Right? No more working on the toilets, nothing. Hey, Hoffer, good to see you. Here we go. There is a fire in the barn. There's a fire. He's putting the fire out. They, oh, okay. Technically, I did it. Okay. Technically, I did it. But I feel like they were very fast at putting it out. So let's give them more of a challenge. This is it. Come on. I said I'd burn down. I'd set fire to the barn. I did. Let's see. Let's set more fires in the barn. Can I actually set fire on the edge of the barn? Hey. There you go. This will make it really hard for them to just douse it instantly because it's all over the place. Oh, it's Jurak. Jurak is the one setting the fire. Jurak, you little fire starter. <laughs> Wait, he's dousing his own fire? <laughs> and then he sets fire to the, to the clothing basket. Unbelievable, this guy. He's like, oh no, I've set fire to the building. <laughs> okay. I tried. I, the, the goal was not to burn down the barn. The goal was to set fire to the barn. I believe we successfully set fire to the barn twice. Oh my god. Is that... Does that count? I think that counts. Hey, Kebab Thief. Thank you for the work, Lurk. Do I... Can I turn auto firefighting off? Can you turn it off, though? Is that possible? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's what we do. We set fire. And... But Dutch is satisfied with the attempt. Is that enough for you, Dutch? Because you did do it sort of accidentally. You weren't trying to... 
I don't want Dutch to feel like they've been robbed. I didn't realize, but I, well, I, I, it's good that they have it like that, but I didn't realize how quickly they would put the fire out. And there's only three of them, and I set like five fires or tried. You're satisfied? Okay. Okay. So here's what we'll do. Thank you to Dutch again for that. Thank you for being satisfied with that. Uh, if there's another set fire to the barn or the house, we turn off automatic firefighting for like one IRL minute. Okay? So if we set fire, we turn off IRL firefighting beforehand and we leave it off from one minute from the fire starting that's how it'll work with the incentives going forward now now because that's the first time i've ever used the setting of fire so we that's how we'll do it for the incentives so we've upped the ante and it's 50 dollars to set fire to the barn and a hundred dollars to set fire to the house and it will burn for one minute and then we'll turn the firefighting back on. I'm not going to tell them to firefight. We'll turn the auto firefighting back on. And wherever they are on the map, whatever they're up to, they will have to deal with it. Okay. That's pretty cool, though. I gotta say, I, uh... I like that there was some damage taken. Uh, and whatnot. I like how quickly the automatic firefighting works as well, though. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to have a quick snack. So I'll be back on the camera in a moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> Crazy talk. I honestly, I was expecting that to go a lot worse. I was expecting that to go a lot worse. It's not like fire is a theme whenever I'm building things. All right, maybe it is. Can they get to that? I think they can walk past that, right? Yeah. Looks like it. This is good though. We got the double bedroom sorted out for the for the parents.
get those hay seeds put away in the thing. We're going to need that grass. All right, uh, gardening or farming. Soil here. Tilled soil. I forgot where the tilled soil was for a minute there. Oh, I don't even have a well. Oh my god. I forgot about the well. Well, well, well. I think, isn't that the big stones and having the masonry thing? That's still locked. <clears throat> I totally forgot about the well. We could unlock Haggis. We haven't built a kitchen yet either. Stone quarry. Okay. Because we need to build the stone quarry. Wait, masonry? I think that's how we... I forgot about the well. What a great point. Okay. Holy cow. Because we were surviving with the jugs. There's no need to make our lives more difficult. Because actually a well would look really nice here somewhere. I'm going to change the pot. I'm going to put the well there. All's well that doesn't fall down the well. Why not put the well near the water? Uh, for aesthetics. I mean, I could put two in. We can have another one over here. This isn't Dark Side RP Season 6. I'm not limited on how many wells I can have. Here we go. Where is it? Isn't there a thing normally that says... With child or whatever? <laughs> we should get a work... We should have a worker. We've got so much money. I'm not ready to build a hotel here yet. We should absolutely have a worker bee. We need to build a kitchen. It's the old poop factory over here. Where are we going to build the kitchen? That could be this. I'm going to make the kitchen here. 
quite a long way away from the fish and everything though maybe the kitchen should be here and I should move all these ingredients and stuff yeah that might be a better idea Okay, we're gonna repurpose this area. We got the woodwork stuff going on. We're gonna build ourselves a nice little, uh, a nice little We're gonna build ourselves a nice little kitchen over here. kitchen maybe we will put the well over here yeah we'll extend the house out there okay that's going to be easier with the heating and everything as well oh damien's taking the new bed right in front of the stove oh my god We could hire extra three workers, yes. Yeah, but you used to sleep in this bed where Shion is now. And the other cat's already pregnant and you're just over here chilling. In front of the fire, in front of the, the, the heating. Uh oh. Dead fox? Who's this? Oh no! The what's there's a fox plague going on. Or is it is the dog killing the foxes? Maybe. Wait, we've got two dogs, right? The dogs are being pretty chill, they're just sleeping next to each other. It's all good. Baby koi for puppy. Why are we building the stone tools when we have the iron tools? That's weird. Okay, they've got loads of tasks to get on with now, though, so let's go. Mm -hmm. Boop. Ah. <laughs> They're talking amongst themselves about the terrifying fire. Got loads of uh, fresh meat. Twelve days worth of food. Who's this, Abigail? What are you selling? You got chickens? No. Okay, I will take the hay though. Oh, this is flax. Okay. Uh, I'll also take that. And you know what? We'll take that as well. I'm going to have to make some more gold ingots. Okay. Thanks, Abigail. Little Abby. <laughs> Season 4 reference. Of Atlas. 
12 days of food there you go 12 days of independently provided food <laughs> cook serve delicious don't forget to check out cook serve delicious by vertigo games Wait, what's your man here? Wait, this guy's name is Murak? Is this Durak's long lost... Uh, long lost cousin? 69 places removed? He's selling kale, eggs, another pig. And eels. What is our pig? Oh, would Lady L want a piggy father, uh, partner? Let's have pigs. There you go. We've got we've gone from sheepses to pigses, although we still got some sheepses. And now we've got pigs to the slaughter. Wait, what? Who's going to be our new uh, sow? Kebab thief? Is it? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with calling a... Uh, naming a pig after a kebab. <laughs> That's not... We're not foreshadowing or anything. Off you go, son. Australian man survives crocodile attack by biting the crocodile back. Go disco. Strath. Look at our little berry bushes. They're all grown. Those are the ones we planted last year. Here's the ones we've just planted this year. They're not fruit providing fruit yet, but these ones over here have in the nat natural ones. In the, in, the, in, the, in the natural ones. Hey, we got a star rating with the clan. What? Huh. That might be the first time I've ever got a star with them, with the clan. Or at least it's the first time I've noticed it li ha happening live like that. Okay, we can build a masonry place. That's outdoorsy stuff, so that'll be fine. We'll probably put that down here next to the quarry. So we can just always have five of those. We always want to have like 50 stones, but we, we'll have loads more than that. So that won't be any work. We've got 33 large rocks all ready to go. That's good. Uh, this needs another metal pickaxe. Okay. So we've got to make another iron pick. And we've not got any iron picks because we don't have any iron ingots. And we've not got iron ingots because we don't have any uh, iron ore. So, jobs. Mine the mountains. Iron ore, please. Let's go. Let's get this tool production going. All right, go, go, team. The name Murak confuses me. Slaughter? No. You got a friend now. You got piggy friends. The great wolf slaughter is over. I'm, I'm a bit worried. I am genuinely a bit nervous about. We got, we got to put this stone fence up. 
We need to defend our perimeter a bit better than we have. But I, I also don't want to give them too many jobs. Okay. I've talked about it enough now. I've got to do it. We've got it here. I don't think they can go over the water, right? So we'll have a stone fence there. And then we'll need one the other side. But let's let them get this side done first. We, this is where we're going to need the workers. We need the work. We need to hire. We need to hire on. 16 days worth of food, though. Crazy. Crazy. Let's have a look at our inventory. How much fish? Raw fish? Cooked fish? Where's cooked fish? Oh, here. Smoked fish, 57. Wow. Wow. I love that. Oink. <laughs> like an old version of Murray. It's like Murb. <clears throat> they can go over the water if it's frozen. Oh, that's a really good point. That's a really good shout. Okay. Well, I mean, by then we'll have two adult dogs. The thing is, at least I'll only have to protect, like, a bit of the perimeter. And not all of it. Is sort of my thinking. I forgot I have to remove that other storage thing away there, right? Manure basket out in the rain. Why? No, why is the rushlight kit there and not in the house? What's wrong with you people? You put it in the one sp I mean, okay, it's strictly speaking not really your fault. Look, <laughs> you've got all this stuff just strewn around all over the place. I just I don't have enough space for all the things yet we're going to need a bigger house oh I had the critter door here for the chicken but I didn't have it for the cats rather but I didn't have that one there for the chicken there you go Okay, we need a worker. I was sort of counting that we'd have a worker by now. But I was wrong. Ugh, look at all this stuff just going to waste. Oh, I gotta stop the repetitive rush light <laughs> rush light manufacturer. Don't. Although they do expire, so. There you go, Jurax getting the fields ready. No, I thought we would have oats. How do we not have oats? Terrible. This is the wrong time to be creating the wall. We should be doing this like in autumn or something. I'm not doing that now. <clears throat> the other slight problem is that in addition, we've also got... Um, 
in addition we've also got uh Uh, what was I going to say? I've forgotten. It went out of my head. Doesn't matter. It'll come back to me. Jurak is outstanding in his field. Nice. He's having a field day. Beautiful. This is great. Those are, that's just, those are, those are the moments. Those are the magical moments. That's wolf howls. No. No, I've cancelled the wall. You're not allowed to attack while the wall is cancelled. No, you can't attack until autumn. Go and eat elsewhere. She on there straight. Oh, look at that. Eating the raw eels on the ground there. Straight in. Good doggo. I think hopefully having at least one adult dog. Koifer's a juvenile now, so that's good as well. Jurak emptying the chamber pots. Thank you, Jurak. Good job. What are you doing now? <laughs> Maybe I should move all this gong place and that. Holy heck, that is full. That is a lot of poop. I might create an extra gong place. there and that probably needs a bit of roof over it right yeah i don't need all these reminders i'm fine can you make fertilizer yeah I think this this is the fertilizer. You put the poop in the gong place and it becomes fertilizer. And we got a compost bin next to that as well. So this is all working in tandem or whatever I think. That can go. We don't need that. I want to start work on the kitchen, but we've got nowhere near enough materials. So before we do that, we'll have to go do some choppy choppy. Yeah, this is what I need. I need the mining there done. I also want to gather some of this. This is oats. Oh, workers, workers, let's go. Uh, Magnus, 42 a day. Uh, yeah, you're hired. Now, Magnus, I want you. I want you harvesting. You love harvesting. That's fantastic. You like gathering or gathering's okay skill for you. Let's get you doing some choppy chop. And some miney mine. Yeah. 
Okay, and then some shuffling things around. Okay, I like that. That's good. He can go... Uh, that means we can add on the job harvest crops. Oh, these are still not fully grown. 95%. Okay, go get us some straw then. That's close. Uh, we've got Elizabeth. I'll have those logs. I'll have those branches. Thank you. Uh, don't really need the berries. And you're Thomas. What's Thomas got? He wants to sell me poop. <gasps> a ram! Wait, we didn't need a ram. We made, We had the miracle babies. Should we get the ram? I'm probably going to get over, uh, overrun. Okay, we'll buy the ram anyway. Okay. Who's the ram going to be? Dutch Eagle. There you go. Dutch Eagle's the ram. There you go. Perfect. And now we've got Magnus here to help out. We should be able to get some stuff done. I think I threw them a few curveballs in the middle. Did we, we got the tailoring desk, right? Did that allow us to work with the wall? No, it allowed us to build something else that allowed wool processing. We're all wool. Is it? I don't think it's that. That's more for leathers and things. Wardrobe. Textile shelf. Stone blocks. Oh, it's stone blocks that allowed. Okay, so once that masonry is built, the stone blocks will be there. Once we make some stone blocks, we'll be able to um, make a well, right? I think that's it. Clean wool. Something else precedes the clean wool. There's some stuff that's still locked. Oh. Don't know. Oh, it's summer already. We're in day one of summer. Oh my god. Okay. Is this fully grown yet? 96%? Who are the doggos protected? Uh, Task was protecting you? Uh, we'll, uh, we've got, uh, Koifer, who's still a young dog, and we've got Delana, who's here to frighten off the wolves. Poor Viper's still all on his lonesome. What a mess with all this storage. Oh yeah, we needed to make more gold bars, right?
probably at this i've never got to the this level of kind of success we we could probably have doubled down on a few of the items i had to double down on the jug storage which was awesome it was a good feeling <laughs> they finally finished that path months later. That's too close to reality. Roadworks taking forever and one bit never being completed for ages. So we still need to get this tool made. Let's have that as a priority. They should have all the ingredients they need now. Oh, network error. Wait, is the stream okay? Okay, that was just Twitch being weird. Okay. That's good. Look how many rush lights we made by mistake. No, why are we still making rush lights? Stop it with the rush lights. You don't even put the rush lights where they're supposed to be. Why should I let you carry on buying rush lights if you're not even going to put them in their place? Silly people. And cheer yourself. They're there to cheer you up. That's the whole point of them. Bum, 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 bum. I think we'll try and employ one more worker. Is this a hundred percent yet? Not yet. Ninety-eight. Oh my god. We get some mining done then. What a cool little place, though. It's starting to it's starting to feel like it comes together. Till the wolves strike once more. I don't know if two dogs is going to be enough. Keep getting buffering, which I don't usually get. So I think Twitch is being twitchy. Yeah. I've seen it um, on some other streams this morning as well. Everything's green here. So I think it's just on the delivery side. To the viewer. Thank you, Lady L. Thank you, Viper. Thank you, Reckless. Thank you, Damien, as well. It's always the big panic. It's like suddenly everyone's gone, or I'm gone, and I don't even realize. That was the benefit of having this stream up on another tab on the streaming PC. I could see immediately. Wow, you guys would scream at me anyway, so it's all good. What are these? These are onions. Oh, we could harvest these onions and then we could have an onion patch. Oh, let's go. Okay. We could harvest some onions while we wait for these crops here to mature. They're at 98%. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Magnus. Now we can have an onion patch. There you go. We'll put the onion patch near the toilets. <laughs> that way people can't complain about the smell. Nice. What's that? It's just onions. It's just the onion patch. That will be the colloquialism now for the clan. When they go into the bathroom, and be like, I'm just going to the onion patch. <laughs> I don't understand these people not using these rush lights. They've built loads of them. I guess it's just they've got so many other jobs to get done. 
I like that they're filling this up earlier than that. Do I not have a clothes basket anyway? Hey, we got stone blocks. We are close. We are close to getting um, the well, I think. That was a good shout from Viper to remind me of that. Okay, this should the oat sheaves should um, mature next day. Hey, the tools are going on the tool rack. Wow, it took us a a year to get a tool rack. Okay, we got the well. Let's go, baby. Let's flip and go. Stone window, the well, beautiful. Let's go. It's not as big as I as I remember. So we can just have the well here or or here. Okay, or we could have one down here. We'll put the well, we'll put a well there next to the kitchen. Well takes 20 stone blocks. Okay. Okay, I've got to remember these oat sheaves. I really want to get the oat and the porridge going. Oat sheaves 10, 10. 99. Okay, it's nearly there. Boom! Let's go! Oh, that feels like a big win. That feels like a big win. Heading off to check the onion patch with the folded newspaper tucked under the arm, yeah. <laughs> I do have the rush lights. I have the rush lights and I have the decorative, the tile table. So I think it might just be priorities because of all the tasks I've given them. I have given them a lot of tasks. What I could do is I could have, I could, I could give new guy the moving around as a top priority. And then all the shuffling might get done. I mean, Jurak, I could also give it to Jurak. He's supposed to shuffle. He's got 10 points now in hunting. Wow. Wow. You like the top skill of anything. Impressive. That's, uh, that's impressive. Pew pew! Jura go brrrr when he goes hunting. Scary wolves are scary. Mm -hmm. This is going exceedingly well. It's our last hour of this, the final episode of our three part mini series, 12 Days of Indieville. Will we get the well? I think once we get the well done and a bit more of the crops planted. I think we're pretty good. The only thing after that would be um, the defensive perimeter <laughs> and maybe sorting out the flipping mess.
somebody at the door. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely... Oh, iron ore. I'll have that. And the branches. And I'll sell you a couple of gold bars. Three. Let's go. We could sell Dutch Eagle and Flyer, Rexy and Zetalia. But we're not going to do that. Could also sell Viper. And they can't afford Damien or Shion. So... Read into that what you will. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Hugh. Off you go, son. Uh, and you are Mar Mer Marjorie. Hello, Marjorie. Um, yeah, I'll hire you on. Let's go, Marjorie. She hates looking after the animals and the kids and everything. That's fine. She loves repairing. She loves gathering, harvesting. Um, let's give you a bit more crafting. Wait, oh, that's building. I meant crafting. Uh, oh, and you can help shift things around. That would be handy. Okay, let's go. Unlock the stone block wall. Wow. I wonder if the simple stone wall would even keep the wolves out. It's another interesting question. I think the whole point of the frozen lake, that is... That means we're going to have to have a perimeter wall that comes in here. Interesting. Yeah. Let's go, gang. It's working. I'm surprised we haven't had cat army yet. It's on its way, I'm sure. But we've got some of our berry bushes there. We've got some little farm crop plots going on in the middle we've got the toilet area we, this is going to be the kitchen um what else could we build buildings floors stone block floor okay we'd need a lot more clay for that and a lot of these stone blocks Fence in the lake? Oh my god, I don't have enough materials for that. <laughs> yeah, pretty solid. Things have gone pretty, pretty smoothly. Um, let's keep up with the iron. And then I want to... Hey, we have a rush light. Finally. They put... It... Hey. They finally got around to the rush lights. They've moved everything out of here. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. We got the well down. That's beautiful. Uh, awesome. Okay. Now let's have a look. Inventory. Oak grains are at zero. But oak sheaves are really high. Okay, so they just need to do the threshing. Go, 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 go. These beds are unlocked, they're available. Oh, in fact, these are straw beds. These are straw mats. I need to replace the the mats with beds, man. Oh, I gotta demolish it first. Okay. Now what did we learn about not replacing all the beds all at once? <laughs> can you actually put that it looks like you can put that on top of that mat? That's kind of cool. That rug. Hey, Dark Luna dude. How you doing? To make uh, day 42, just because. Nice. We've got to make the kitchen to make haggis. Yeah. 
So is there anything I can do to build with just... Uh, not really, with little stones, right? No. I don't think I've ever built with the stone blocks before. I think bricks we've tried a little bit. I could have to move another thing if I want to build it there. Okay, we'll start putting that together. See if we can get the kitchen built. Good land, good land. Gonna need a load more clay, okay. I think this needs to be like a couple hundred now. This is awesome. We got so much money from this gold mine. Who would have thought the gold mine would have turned out to be so handy? <laughs> Hello. Oh, more work. Wait, Helen's back. Is this Helen as in Helen that Jurax babysitter stroke eventually love of his life? Now it says I don't have enough beds. Look at this. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful. Let's go, baby. I love it. It's great seeing all this activity all of a sudden. Fantastic. Uh, doors. Let's go for wood doors. Never, never built wood doors before. I don't think ironclad. I have that. Building, wall, stone wall, bang. 
building floors. Stone floor? Cobblestone floor. Oh, let's let's see. Look at that! That looks amazing. It's gonna be a cold cobblestone kitchen floor. That's so cool. I love that. That's so cool. Let's flip and go. Food only five days. Oh, a lot of mouths to feed, but of course, if we can get some good farming done. Uh, planting oats. Let's get the rest of my oat field done here. And then planting onion patch. Get my onion patch done. Why are we so short on the... It's still not done here. Okay. Okay. Because I keep giving them more and more jobs to do. <laughs> Look, our first ever wooden door. Let's go. Cobblestone floor. Uh, uh, what's the other one called? Stone block wall. Oh, let's, should we try a wooden roof or a tiled roof? Tiled roof. Never done tiled roof before. Let's go. We are in some, we're like nearly halfway through summer in year two. So I've got to be a little bit careful. I'm being a bit cheeky here and going for quite a lot of stuff happening. Oh, this is so cool, though. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. We're going to put a kitchen in. I never tried out this cooking pot either. We'll put that kitchen there. We're going to make the cooking pot. Uh, next to that. I think that'll look kind of cool. Uh, we're going to put a wall table. There. I think they'll put a... a, a I think that means that they'll put a... A rush light on that but I'm not sure let's have a round table also for for the in the kitchen just a decor item have I got any heather I do <gasps> Okay, let's have some heather wreaths. Here by the door. Over here by the door. Lovely. Awesome. Let's go, gang. It's really coming together. 12 days of Indieville is really coming into its own now. Look with the little rush lights and everything. I love it. There's going to have to be a vent for warmth, but I'm going to wait till I've got the roof up for that. Or I'm going to put a straw curtain between the kitchen and the living space. We can share the warmth. Don't forget all those incentives. If you want to hear Ivan tell a fish joke, that's your chance.
Oh, hello. Actually, better close the job board for now. So, he just arrived for work. Sorry, buddy. Hello, Catherine. Could you please buy some gold off of me? Because we're using quite a lot of money. I will take all of your branches. And I'll take some berries. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Now, clear off. I mean, bye. See you next time, is what I meant. Who are you? Dold? Hello, Dold. You got more pigs? <gasps> got another sheeps. Hey, could we buy back enough sheep that no one would ever realize if we named them all the same way? No one would ever realize we lost all of our sheeps through the course of the playthrough, right? You guys can keep a secret, right? <laughs> We'll need a bigger barn. Don't know what Hula's going to make of all of this. Oh, poor Hula never made it. Wait, Hula was in our other playthrough yesterday. So that wouldn't count. I've never had the heather wreaths up either. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. Look at the tiled roof! Oh, snap. Roof on. Look at this. Look at the tiled roof. Oh, how cool does that look? How cool does that... Oh, my God. This is so cool. We're going to have proper... Proper kitchen. Stone block kitchen. Cobblestone floor. And a tiled roof. Luxury. So much luxury. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, let's come out to the forest and chop some more wood. We need some more wood. We got that field of oaks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's going on? Something, it's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. Hey, yesterday I did a bit of troubleshooting with our buddy LDG Twisted. He's been having so many problems graphically and with game crashes with Ark. And we went through just some simple troubleshooting and now it's working perfectly for him. Game's running better. He's got zero crashes, played all day. And he's been upping some settings. That's wonderful news. That's good news. Thank you, Viper. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay, what was that new one, chat? I missed it. It's an Ivan joke? Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's pick a good one. <laughs> okay, I got some pirate joke for you. What is pirate's favorite fish? Uh, this is pirate and fish joke combined. Yeah, very good. Favorite fish of pirate? <laughs> Swordfish! Swordfish, of course. Hey, what do you call pirate who likes to skip school? Huh? Doesn't go to class. Captain Hooky. <laughs> Captain, you got two for one. Two for one. We used to live in a rolled up newspaper. Captain Hooky. Need, we're going to need more tiles. Come on, get on with it. Go, 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 go. Need more onion seeds. Oh, no. My onion patch. I've run out of seeds for my onion patch. To replay. What is this? This is a kale patch? That's not good. I need onions. This little patch...
Let's go, Roof. Come on, Roofy Roof. I want to finish this roof. How much time have I got left? I've got 40 minutes. I must be awake. I never hear jokes this bad in my dreams. How dare you? What do you mean? You can tell joke, best joke. Come on, just one dollar. One dollar to a good course. Help children smile. Listen, great joke. Hmm? Oh, I got really, I promise you, I got really such good jog lineup. It's really good. Cheese of the day. Parel de Brebis. There you go. There's your cheese of the day. Look at this beautiful kitchen. Look, they're putting the rush lights on the other tables. <gasps> oh, doesn't that look great? That's so cute. We finally got a use for all those rush lights that we overproduced. <laughs> all right, up on Adam troops. I don't usually run it on four speed, but just for the sake of seeing how far we can push this. Four days worth of food with all these workers. That's not bad. Animals are doing good. I'd still like to buy another chicken. I'd like to get a hen. Come on, we've got to crack on with this roof here. So we've got two gong places going. That's great. Loads of fertilizer. A little bit shy on seeds there for some reason. Uh, oat sheaves we've got for days, so I don't know why we're not. Okay, they are working on it. They're just not. They're just too focused on this producing this this roof, which is fine. Oh, ding ling. Who's this? Huey. Hey, Huey. We've got more dogs for sale. No. Uh, I'll take some dry peat bricks, though. Stones I don't need. Here, have some gold. Okay, and we're good. Oh, this is going really well. Amazing when you get a little army going at it like this. Ah, oh, this is working. I was worried all along that that wasn't working properly, but it's fine. Unlock the supply shelf. What does the supply shelf do? Storage for workshop supplies. Don't know. Never had that before. Um... Workshop supplies, so that we want to try and fit that into our workshop here somewhere. Oh, we can just squeeze it in that gap there. Nice. Let's go. Um, I saw some other things that we've not had in there as well. That one we've got. So textiles. There's also a decoration shelf, so they can stop leaving these rush lights everywhere. We still need to expand our house, man. That's crazy. Or, actually... Let's move the dipper in here. Yeah. And let's change this door. Um, actually, the roof isn't done yet, but it is summer, so it's going to be warm enough anyway. I want to put a straw curtain here instead. Oh, I've got to get rid of that door. <clears throat> I don't think that'll be a problem. It's summer, right? How close is... Yeah, we're day five, so... Okay, we finally have enough tiles to finish the roof. No, we don't. Ah, <laughs> we just use them. 
the great tile shortage. Look at that beautiful roof. It's all coming together so nicely. Five days worth of food now. That's good. Oh, look at these crops. Onion growth, 35%. Beautiful. We've got hay. We've got everything. I wanted to do the planting of the, of the grass. I'm glad that I cancelled the wall for until later in the year. Give them something to do in winter. Get out there. Build that wall. <clears throat> wow. And tell you what, if the opportunity comes up, we'll marry Jurek off to the other family. <laughs> no, we won't do that because he'd want to escape. So actually we'll bring we'll bring uh we'll bring Helen in. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Keep him here with us. He'd be happier that way. Oh my god. Even when Damien goes outside, all he does is lies down in, and suns himself. Unbelievable. Hey, Whisper the Lightbringer, good morning. Welcome in. Uh, we're currently at $2,794.21. Go Team Odd. Sunlight's good for the fur? Oh, sure. Okay. Does that mean if you don't get enough sunlight, you're furious? <laughs> yes. I'm here all, all session, folks. I'm here all session. you got to put up with this for another 30 minutes. You want some more jokes? i got a really good one. I'm, I'm desperate to tell this one joke here. I know it's an incentive, but I, I really want to tell that one joke. I'll, I'll save it. It's that good. <clears throat> it's that good. I promise you, if you've got a dollar to spare, it's that good. Um, all right. What, what have six arm, six leg and six eye? Eh? Six arm, six leg, six eye. Is it? Six parrots. <laughs> six parrot. <laughs> soon, soon it'll be donate to stop the jokes okay come on little peeps we haven't quite managed to finish this roof which is a, a pity come on I want this roof done I want this kitchen done they haven't actually built the kitchen yet either that needs iron ingots Uh, oh, we're out of iron ore. Okay. Oh, look at all these deer. And Edward's playing down there with the deer. Uh oh. Uh, L donated one. It's a good idea. I'm hooked on these pirate jokes. Don't you go stealing them ahead of my chance to use them. Okay, so here you go. I know you wanted it. Thank you for the donations, uh, everybody. Okay, you ready? This is a great joke. This joke really should be a lot more, you know, should have been a bigger. It's that good. I love this joke. It's that good. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Hang on. Hang on. This, this joke, this joke deserves... More. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. It's me. Ivan. I'm here with my Yushenker. Yeah? Look with the flappy ears. You ready for joke? You're gonna love this joke. Okay. Knock, knock, said the pirate. Who's there? Garden. Garden who? I'm Garden my treasure. I'm Garden my treasure. You shank him now till my head explodes from heat. Beautiful. Amazing joke. Thank you for donation. Very kind. Oh, I'm low on money. I'm very low on money. Whoops. I better make some more gold. We better make some more gold quickly. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough gold. Maybe I have to dig in here and then open the roof and everything collapse. This is a disaster. Get out of here, man. You cost me a fortune. Maybe I should send some of the workers home. <laughs> Better than you feared is the best joke ever. Pirate knock knock joke. Best combination. Look how happy everybody is now with all these rush lights everywhere. Oh, I think we need some windows in here because it's daytime and no one can see. Uh, building other... We have wind wood window. Never built wood window before. Go, 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 team. I'm overcomplicate by making more expensive items, but hey, we got the daylight. You think that joke was better? I like that joke. I think that's a great joke. Guarding my treasure. What did Ocean say to Pirate? Eh? Top secret? No, I said nothing. It just waved. It just waved. <laughs> Beautiful. The best thing is to have such great audience who appreciate good joke of Ivan. Is the best thing. Good team garden pirate. Yeah. Hey, we finished the roof. We finished the roof. So now we can break down this door. And we can put... Uh, building other straw curtain. Boom. So then we can share the heat from here to here. We got the wood door, the wood door, and the wood door. It's amazing. Hey, David, how you doing? Poor David Klein. We remember David well. He, we lost him in, in the Great Wolf Attack of year two. The spring of year two. Would a garden pirate wear an onion patch? Of course. What else, my friend? If he, in fact, if he doesn't have his onion patch, if it's been chopped away from him, then he's uh, crying for days. Look at young Wee Jurak there. 
Ah, we got another donation. Where do we get the donation? You're doing a bit better? That's good to hear. Day 47. Five days worth of food. So we're getting back into the food again. And we really need to get this kitchen made now. Wait, cooking pot? I don't know what they make on the cooking pot. Maybe they make nothing. $15 from Vind. Thank you. Hey, Anubis, how you doing? Thank you for the $15. What, what are my incentives? Hang on, where's my list? We've got to see what Vind wants. Thank you, Vin, for the donation to the cause. Really appreciate it. Can someone give me an exclamation mark incentives? Thank you. Some jokes would be fine. Oh, well, thank you for the support, Vin. Okay. So you don't want to move anybody to sleep. You don't want... I'm just going to throw this out here. You don't have to do it. I'll do a whole bunch of jokes for you. Um, but I could also offer you, in addition to some jokes, so not instead of, in addition to some jokes, I can also offer you to move Jurak's bed into the barn. If you'd like. It's just throwing that out there as an idea. Sounds like a good plan. Good, 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 good. All right, this is what we'll do then. We'll get some dog's beds in the corners over there. Uh, we'll get rid of this animal bed. We'll get, in fact, what we'll do is we'll give them a nicer bed. So there's a compromise, basic needs, straw bed in here. Right, we need that done. Quick, smart. Come on. Okay, there we go. Objects, straw bed. So he gets a bed upgrade. We get that bed done as a priority. I like this. This is this is a good. This feels like a good. Good compromise. Okay. All right, we're on it. We're on it. Oh, okay. Salesperson Barbara's here. Um, yeah, I'll take these logs. That's really good timing. Uh, I'll sell you some gold. I love the branches. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that's grand. Thank you, Barbara. You've helped me out no end there. That's helped me a lot, really a lot. Brilliant. That takes eight planks to make Jurak's bed. Holy cow. We really have spoiled the lad. For the Dwarf Kids is a giveaway. If you want to be part of a giveaway, um, please. You love wolves? Well, you were eaten by one. So I suppose that checks out. Okay, how about some jobs then? It was well in parallel. We're waiting for... Oh, wait, there's Jurek's bed. Okay, pause the game. Jurek. Take uh, that. And that's now your bed. And that one's gone. 
Perfect. Jurak's bed is now moved to the barn. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Okay, here's one for you. I got a good one. What did the pirate wear on Halloween? What pirate wear on Halloween? He wear pumpkin patch. <laughs> pumpkin patch. Okay. Why it's old one but good one? Why couldn't the pirates play cards? Because someone was always standing on the deck. <laughs> okay. What was the value of the pirates' treasure? Huh? You don't know? It cost him an arm and a leg. <laughs> an arm and a leg. Yeah. Why is pirating so addictive? Because once you start, you get hooked. <laughs> oh, I love the audience here. Appreciate these jokes. What is Pirate's favorite shop? Eh? Spelled S H O P P E. Uh, ye oldy second hand shop. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Now everybody very happy to tune in just in time to catch all this joke, eh? To get all this joke. much hype very appreciate thank you support the children and their families in desperate time for need and on top of that look what you get look what you get i'm gonna plant some kale now we're gonna plant the kale as well as the onion Okay, are you up next, Dr. Luna dude? Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we go get some more pit. Ah, oh, this has gone really well, this playthrough. I thought we were going to lose because we're down to one sheep, <laughs> but we made it. Still a lot of wolves around, but dangerous. I love that we have the stone kitchen house with the tiled roof, chef's kiss. And I want to get this kitchen built. Come on, guys, build me the kitchen. Okay, for the Dwarf Kids is your uh, code to enter giveaway for Random Steam Care. Random Steam Care up for grab for indie game. Uh, what do you call pirate with two legs and two eyes? A newbie! <laughs> he only just start. <laughs> Okay, what did the pirate say when left the wooden leg in the freezer by accident? Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, don't worry, I keep going. Uh, what pirate worst enemy when out at sea? Termites! <laughs>
Hey, what do uh, how does a uh, cow keep itself motivated when going to work for minimum pay? Uh, with this phrase, an other day, an other dollar. <laughs> an other day, an other dollar. Uh, what is highest praise that uh, one the cow can be given by all the other cows? He can be told that he's legendary. <laughs> legendary. Legendary. Bread oven, butter churn, or oh, speak of cows. Pantry shelves, nice. Serving table, oh, haggis. We unlock haggis. Beautiful. Serving table. Okay, where can we fit this in new kitchen? No, because new kitchen already full of things. <sighs> okay, we're going to try to make haggis. That needs pluck, oat grain, onion, charcoal, water jug. 16 water jug. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're 100 each. But I don't have any pluck. <sighs> I can't make the haggis without the pluck. Uh, I don't give a pluck, so I can't make it haggis. Let's make some bowls. Beautiful. Uh, I think we got to make some of these. Some of these for the family. Nice. Well, we got all these hides. Okay, how am I doing? I must be near finish. 10 minutes, okay. You can take these jokes 10 more minutes, guys. Come on. I get too many pings here. <laughs> Don't want to know about that. Different game. Oh, we got another salesperson. <clears throat> Okay, dokie, sound good. We got tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll sell you some of this. Oh, you want some hide, eh? I take this. And I take this. And I take this and I sell you more of this. Okay. Thank you, Maro. We'll see you again the day after tomorrow. I don't quite understand this one. Oh, and needs raw meat to go in there. Okay. Don't know what he's cooking. Random meal. Unlock a dish rack. Oh. And a dish dishwasher. Okay. But you know what else I want? We got butter churn, bread oven. We're going to need a bigger kitchen. <laughs> yeah, the, but the bitrate fix was like one minute. So I don't really worry about that. Vegetable soup unlock. Nice. Can we make that? Probably not. That's cool though. Look at this beautiful farm coming up over here. Amazing. 12 days of Indieville, looking fantastic. Uh, but also, let's do quick harvest. Get some more things here. I remember we messed up because we didn't have enough hay for the winter. We really need more hay for the winter. Probably some trees, some wood as well.
and soon the mushrooms. I really thought that this kitchen was going to be kind of big enough for, for our needs. Um, but it really isn't. <laughs> the thing that would cap this off the most is if we had another baby now. But I don't think that's going to happen in the time. Oh, she is pregnant though. Now, there you go. She is pregnant. Can I get a heather patch here? Maybe. And this is a kale patch. Okay. I don't think that's going to grow in the autumn, though. So could be a bit late planting those. We'll see. Hey, Mama Cat. Are you quoting Lion King while standing in the Jurassic Park? Koi Fu Wu during Jurassic World Evolution. Thank you for the refreshments. Yeah. No, the the break for the fixing the bitrate was one minute. So it, it was short enough that it doesn't even count. Don't worry about that. I've got three hours and 54. So we can, we can do the handover. Do you want me to play any videos, uh, organizers, moderators? Would you like me to play some videos before I head out so the next person can get straight into their game? This is quite a hot hat. <laughs> Who would have thought a fluffy Yushanka hat would be hot? So we never quite got to Haggis. But I would say all in all, <laughs> look at Jurek lives in the barn. I would say all in all, we won. I got to screenshot this. Lovely. Look at that. Young Jurek living in the barn with animals. Hashtag Team Haggis. There you go. That's a screenshot there on my Discord. On the Good Vibes Discord. You're good? No worries. Okay, gang. Thank you very, 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 very much for tuning in. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing through this. Uh, I love this game. I think it's great. It's another great example of what independent and small developers and small publishing houses can put together. So huge thanks to Hooded Horse. Um, who are the publishers who hooked me up with this in the first place a couple of years ago. Jurak, who actually pointed me in the game's direction, which is great. Um, thank you to MinMax Games, uh, which I think is a one-person team, a very small team in any case. So um, thank you for being here. I'm going to sign off by going over here. Boom, onto the Stay Tuned. And uh, yeah, awesome source, everybody. Thanks for the good vibes. Thanks for sharing in the jokes. And I'll see you in the next one, folks. For the kids! Thank you, everybody. Thanks for the donations, too. Really appreciate it. And most of all, thanks for being here and being part of the fun. Bye-bye!